about you. I remember growing up just feeling different. I always feel like I'm left out of things. Growing up, I used to... Hold on. Nobody cares about you. I remember... Facts. I remember growing up just feeling different. Shoot, it shouldn't matter though, because you should care about yourself. I always feel like I'm left out of things. Growing up, I used to always care about people and and put others first. When I used to go out and play with my friends at the park or when there's snack time in class, I used to always go to the corner store and buy a lot of snacks and drinks. And when I would get back to the park, I would share with everybody and everybody would be happy. And I would make sure I give everybody a bag of chips. And if they didn't want something to eat, I would give them a drink. And you know, when we're all kids, we just eat chips and drink hugs. Back when chips used to be a quarter and a, and a small hug drink would be. Man, to go back to those times, bro, damn. Nowadays we get chips as far as let me stop. A quarter. Those were the good times. And I remember during class when I would bring a snack and when some of my classmates didn't have nothing to eat and they asked me and they asked me if they could get some, I would give them some of my snack, whether it was chips, cookies, or whatever I had. But I remember there were a few days where I didn't have any money. I couldn't buy my own chips and drinks and when they had snacks and we were all playing at the park when they had something to drink i would ask them can i get some chips and they would say no and that really got to me because all these all this time i got y'all backs i i would share with everybody but then when i'm down when i don't have any money when i have nothing to eat nobody cared about me i just sat by myself and i just felt stupid i i just felt like i didn't really have any true friends i didn't really have anybody that cared about me. And the same thing would happen in class. If I forget to bring a snack or I didn't I didn't have money and I had nothing to eat. And I asked the same people that I share with, like, hey, can I get a piece? And they would they would be like, no. So you have an idea. You want to start a business. And you think you need money, capital, a fat inheritance, a risky loan, or best case, you come to an Uh, sound like bro is just expecting too much for other people and he was expecting the same energy that he was giving a lot of times hey people don't care about you as much as you care about yourself some people learn it the hard way that's when I realized nobody nobody cares about you in this world <laughs> Everybody just wants to be around you. Everybody just wants to be around you when you have money, when you can feed them, when you can help them. But the moment you're down and you don't have any money or you don't have anything, nobody sees you anymore. Nobody cares about you anymore. Nobody cares. Uh, I say to bro right here. I don't know. I'm just, I was just this, this video just came up, so I'm just watching it. Uh, I ain't for that judge, no. I ain't gonna judge you for crying or none. Uh, I'm gonna just say this though. Live life with no expectations. That's what I do. Have no expectations. Don't expect nobody to help you, bro. Like, ain't nobody gonna help you. I remember one of my cousins. He was. Uh, he asked his somebody he knew to help him out, lend him a hand for um to. I think what was it? It was some business venture he wanted to get into. He was asking the neighbor to help him out because the neighbor was uh, in that field, in that industry, and it wouldn't have hurt the neighbor to help him. The neighbor didn't help that man. And my and my my cousin called me. He was mad. He was like, "Yo, bro, he didn't help me. He didn't help me." He's like, "Bro, it, 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 it didn't it didn't cost him anything to help me. Like I help him do all this stuff." And I was like, "Yo, like." At the end of the day, nobody's obligated to help you, no matter how much you do. That's just the way the world works. And you can't expect nobody to help you. And you can't complain about it either. That's not going to help you. That's just, that's just not going to help you. Like People, that's why what, what my, uh, my grandma, she always be telling me, like, you lucky if you got one friend because that's all you, I mean, I'm not going to say that's all you need because you really just need yourself. But 
it helps to have somebody that that you that you really walk with. And a lot of times, bro, people just gonna use you for they just wanna gain something from you. You know what I'm saying? Like they just wanna gain something from you. Like they may ask you for I don't know, it's just like life advice or something. And then the moment that you need some advice, it's like nobody there for you. You feel me? It's just like that's the way the world works. You just got to question if they're really your friends for real. If they're really somebody that you could rock with. But I also say this too. I know I'm, I know I'm rambling, but this is not just if, if bro sees this. It's just if anybody's going to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, be the you meet good people by being a good person. Don't forget that, bro. You meet a good you meet good people by being a good person, bro. So focus on who you want to be. And focus on the type of energy that you want to receive, and it's gonna come. It's gonna come to you. Life just sucks. I remember when I was younger, just growing up being different, and just feeling like I was ugly. And and I used to think like if I could just be average, if I could just fit in with everybody else and just get along, how life would be. Bro, so the much average. Better. Bro, fuck me, and an I average, bro. One, the average person is in debt is overweight is has no confidence in himself fuck being average bro like you think you think the average person that you see is confident that they got their life together you don't know what skeletons people got in their closet one time i was at the playground with my friends and there was this one girl that came up to me and she was like i've never met somebody as ugly as you like you're so ugly like, you're really ugly. I remember telling her, <laughs> I remember saying, like, I know I'm ugly. And and I wish I was better looking. But I'm not. Nobody cares about you. Bro. Bro, it sounds like you still got, you, your past experiences, your early childhood has shaped who you are today. And you haven't let none of that stuff go. And it's still affecting how you see yourself. The moment that you can accept who you are, it was the moment that you be able to love who you are. You don't love yourself, dog. When life itself is it's just a constant struggle. Facts. I feel like I can never get a peace of mind. There's always the next challenge. Once I saw one thing. Because if you want peace, be prepared for war. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs, my God. Most of life is, it's not gonna be all uh, peaches and rainbows. Like it's it's, it's gonna be tough. That's you gonna have trials and tribulations. You are gonna have to get through it though. It gets better though. Trust me, trust me. I know it gets better. Thing, another life. problem comes. It is never ending. It's like I used to struggle with relationships, but then when I get a girlfriend, I I guess I just dated dated the wrong ones a few times, and I was. I was just a nice guy. I was I was too nice and I always cared about their feelings and always made sure that they're happy, but perhaps I was just treating the wrong person right. And all they ever did was cheat on me and flirt with other guys and, and just left me for somebody else. Like even in relationships, it's a... At the end of the day, you just, you hit it on the nail. You say you treat the wrong person right. Stop doing that, my guy. Like, stop that. You got it. You got it. Your energy is is sacred. Only a few people should be getting it. It's a struggle to find someone that you're compatible with. Someone that stop looking for it. Actually has your back. Somebody that actually loves you and cares about you and isn't selfish. Even in relationships, you got to go through so many toxic relationships and and so many people who don't deserve you. It's hard to just find some people who are loyal and trustworthy and and you know will be there for you no matter what. It's so hard to find people like that. And it's not just finding a girlfriend that's loyal. It's finding friends that are loyal. I think you're looking for it too much. You ever feel like, I don't know if you experienced this, but I guess the viewers, whoever listened to this, y'all ever had that moment where, like, the moment that you stop caring is the moment that you get what you 
initially caring about, that's what it is in this situation. The moment that you just say, you know what, it is what it is, and you and you just go with life as if you already experienced it, is the moment that everything starts to happen to you. It's the moment that you start to see all of the things that you wanted manifest in your reality, bro. So you just got to let go, and you harboring things that you don't have. You're looking outward instead of inward. You want that. You want to those friends to fulfill, like to fill up a void that you have within yourself and your insecurities. And so, once you can fill that, once you can fix that with your, within yourself, oh, you're gonna be good, my guy. You're gonna be good, bro. <laughs> Find a genuine people that actually care about you. It's a constant struggle, and you don't have as much friends. And then the little bit of friends that you have in high school, once you graduate, you no longer really communicate with them. We kind of all just go down our different paths, and we kind of just separate. And life after school is just loneliness, and you really only have a few friends, if that. And then all it really is is just working nine to five, and most people are just miserable and lost and don't really know what they want to do with their life or just, and you just work your whole life away until you're old and if the economy is any good, you might be able to retire. And then from there, you have a few years left and then you just, you just die. That's what you just described is the average uh, American dream. And it is uh, what's been, we've been lied to, not just you and me, but everybody in the society. That is the, well, that's the life that a lot of people are living. People are alive, but not living for real. They're not thriving. That's all life really is. You're born, you go to school, you work, you get old, you retire. That's not all life is, bro. And then you just die. Sometimes I really wonder what the purpose of life is. It's a lot of suffering, a lot of, it's just a lot of emotional trauma and suffering and betrayal and struggles and only advice. You're talking only about one end of the spectrum though. This life is also full of joy, full of fulfillment, full of peace with yourself. Like life is gonna have good ups and downs and it never gets easier. So. So don't expect it to. I'm going to add your name in this too. I want you to react to this because it seems like you're going through something, bro. You know what I'm saying? So like any way that I can help is what I'm going to do. But look, bro, like I ain't going to judge you for crying or nothing like that, bro. Everybody got their emotions. Let them out, bro. But like life is going to be good. Life is good and bad, bro. It's, it's, it's ups and downs to life. It sounds like what you really care about is fostering close and meaningful relationships and building on that. That's something I care about too. And what I used to do is, I actually got it on my phone, like, I, I, I made a list of all the people that I care about and all the people that I want to call often. And I, I've been calling them this year, just reaching out to them. Even if even if they don't talk to me, I still make sure I talk to them and I leave good, out, good energy out for them. And in return, like, life just, life, uh, what's the word? It presents me with a lot more opportunities to meet even more people because I've been good to the people that I already have. I don't think you should be looking for um, quantity. You should be looking for quality. Advice that we really get is, oh, make sure you go to college. Make sure you go to college. Not everybody's meant to go to college. Not everybody really, it's not really the best path for some people. That's a fact. Because some people just ends up I'm not buying YouTube Premium, bro. It's not happening, my guy. Getting their degree and can't even get a job in that field. It's just a waste of money. And you know what the worst feeling is oh when you have a degree and you feel like that degree is worthless. And you feel worthless. That's the worst feeling. You only feel worthless if you attach that degree to your identity. Most people attach their job titles, they attach all other validators, external validators as their identity. For example, oh, I'm an athlete, uh, so now they feel now they feel much more, uh, they feel much better about themselves. Oh, I have this job, oh, oh, I have a doctorate, oh, I make this certain amount of money, oh, I have this car, oh, this is the square foot of my house, oh, I have this many followers. That's most people, bro. That's most people, kid. I'm talking to you, bro. That's most people. Take all of that stuff away tomorrow. Who 
and who do they who are they able to present to the world at their core that's what really matters life has been a lot like life has been a lot bro we've been all told to care about these things and you know you got a lot of insight you young i don't know how old you are you like you're around my age but you already starting to see that so that's good bro And when you feel like a degree on your resume means nothing, when you can't even land a job interview, when it can't even get past their automated system that just rejects you, you don't even get a human to look at that resume with a degree on there. You feel worthless. And then even when you have a degree, you don't have any experience. If you haven't... It's like a degree means nothing when you have no experience, when you have no connections. When entry-level jobs require five years of experience, it's, it's just frustrating. It's like, what was the point of me going to school then? What was the point of me getting this degree? Like, can we have some real entry-level jobs? Can we get some real entry-level jobs that require no experience? Can we see some of that? And then when jobs want five professional references, like, I could be hardworking, I could, I'm a quick learner, but I don't have the five references that you want, five professional references that you want. I don't have that. I don't have that much work experience. And then being an introvert, it's just hard to connect with people to get these professional references. But I know if I put my mind to something and I work hard, I could do it. I could. There you go. It's a mindset, bro. It's a mindset. And the thing is too, like, when you don't have a purpose, you will be a sound one by society. That's what's happening with a lot of people. And it's hard when you have to play by those rules. But the fact of the matter is you don't have to. You can create your own rules. And you just said you can by your changing your mindset. You know, you may have to play by the rules a little bit and then stack your money be able to invest in yourself and create value for other people and then change your trajectory your life like that but it is a mindset change do the job and perhaps on paper i don't look like the most qualified person but then i see i see a bunch of people that get hired because everything looks good on their resume they look qualified on their resume but they're not really the best fit for that company and they don't do the best job, but they get hired. I don't know, it's just, life is too hard, man. There's always the next. It's not, bro. It can be, it can be, it can feel like it is. But the fact that you are even here, like the fact that you are even alive, the fact that you even made it, like, pat yourself on the back for that and the fact that you got through all whatever hardships you got through pat yourself on the back for that too like those all just give you xp and points to move up on different levels and the level your life up life is really a game bro challenge and the next challenge you fix this another problem i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired of figuring shit out i'm tired of trying to solve these problems and it's true. Nobody in this world can help you. Nobody in this world can. can nobody in this world. Can. I, that's cap the two people. People. People will help those who help themselves. I've seen it happen with my mama, bro. I ain't gonna get too deep in that, but like people, 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 people are looking out, bro. And you're just in the wrong. You're just looking in the wrong spots, in the wrong spaces. cares about you and nobody in this world can help you the only person that can help you is yourself and that's that's just you a came here you're gonna die alone bro so at the end of the day all you have is you you need to be your biggest your biggest fan your biggest supporter your biggest anchor like you gotta hold it down for yourself before anybody else can lonely world such a lonely world to live in like, sometimes I feel like if poor people ran the government, life would probably be so much better. Because the rich people, they don't understand the struggles of everyday poor people. So they don't know something, they just hire people to solve their problems. They have, they have connections. They have the money to, to just 
fix things. I don't understand how it feels to be poor and when you don't know something, you, you just don't have the money to hire people to figure things out for you. You can't hire people to solve your problems. Like only poor people genuinely knows how it feels to be down here. And I feel like the older we get, we just have less friends and the way society is going. You're going to have less friends, bro. And you shouldn't want a lot of friends. You shouldn't want a lot of friends, bro. Yeah, you should not want a lot of friends, my guy. Have close people that you mess with and that you solid with. That's all you need. All you need is one good friend, my guy. Nowadays, everybody is so isolated. Everybody's just on their devices. Everybody wants human connection, but nobody wants to reach out. Nobody wants to actually connect. Mm, I just, I just want a few solid friends that just has your back when you're down, and you know you'll have their back when they're down. That's just what I, that's all I want. And it's even worse when you don't have supportive parents. Your parents are the ones that care about you, yet they're the first ones to put you down. They're the first ones to tell you that you're useless, that that you're nothing, that you're just trash, and never support you in anything you do. Everything Everything you do is wrong. If you don't do what they if you don't do what they want you to do, you're wrong. Yeah, that's tough. I ain't gonna lie, that's super tough. Uh yeah, by the way, yeah, I'm blessed because I had supportive fans, but like uh er, yes, yeah, everything stems from your your childhood, bro. The trauma that you got is all from your your parents, your early experiences, and so you gotta break out of that, bro. You gotta break out of that mentality. You just gotta tell yourself that you are enough. Say that shit every day, bro. Even if you don't believe it, you gotta just start speaking stuff into existence. Because you, it's so that you it's so that you can see it. It's like can I can I just do what I like? Like do you even know what I like to do in my life? Do you even know what makes me happy? Did you know there's a simple activity that you're already doing dozens or even hundreds of times a week that can be making you 3,500? And perhaps I have certain passions that I want to pursue. Can I just do that? Without being compared to everybody else, like, oh, look at your cousins. Look at this person, look at that person, they're so successful. Can I not be compared with anybody? It sound like you're going to have to choose. You're going to have to live your life for you, my God. It sound like they're probably projecting their life onto you. And you have to make a decision on if you want to, you know what I'm saying, like, listen to what they got to say if you're going to be like, you know what? Fuck what y'all think, I'm doing me. And if y'all if y'all hate me, then so be it. But that's what I want to do. If you make that decision, it is going to hurt, my guy. Um, it's going to hurt because you're going to feel even more isolated, which is probably what you don't want. But I've been isolated before myself. And for the last two years, I've been isolated. And what I can say is that through isolation, you find, you, know, you, you elevate through isolation. And with your parents, bro, you just got to have to make that decision. Because it's either now or never, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's because I'm me. I'm not them. And it's always about them being better than you at certain things. What, a, what about me being good at things? What about the things that I'm good at? Is that not important? Life definitely does suck, and there's a lot of struggles, but all we can really do is live day by day, take one day at a time, one step at a time, and Seize the day. Know, life just sucks, man. And just societal pressure, and sometimes the pressure can really get to you, and you just feel worthless. Pressure either bust pipes or make diamonds. Like you're not built for this world. Like, there's days where I feel like I'm just not built for this world. And, bro... You are, bro. The fact that you are even here, like, you should pat yourself on the back for that. I said that earlier. Like, yes, 
You should pat yourself on the back for that. Most people don't make it. Most don't make it. Most don't even get to be born in this world. So, it's a, it's a lot. It's, 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 and we all here for a reason. So, you just got to find your reason. You got to find your passion. And once you do, it's going to outweigh any of the obstacles that come your way. It's going to be, the obstacles are going to be worth going through because you know your purpose, you know your vision. And it's not going to mean anything for you. What obstacles or what trials or what hurdles or tribulations you got to go through. Life is going to break you down so you have a breakthrough. I'm just not meant, I'm just not meant to, to be in it. Cap, when you start saying shit like that, bro, that's OC, bro. Nah, bro, look, I ain't going to lie, bro. Look. When I hear stuff like this, bro, I'll be like, yo, there was a time in my life, I know how you, f I, I felt the exact same way, my guy. Like, I felt, what you feel right now is how I felt, which is hopeless. You felt hopeless, bro. And how did I get out of that? I had to love myself. And you don't really get to love yourself. It's through this isolation that you get to love yourself, bro. It's through this isolation. You, have to, you should take this opportunity to learn more about yourself and your hobbies. Now, if you can't, if you're not able to do that because your parents just got you on like a leash, and I'm not trying to like downplay by saying that, then you're going to have to break off that motherfucker, bro. You're going to have to be like, no, bro, fuck what y'all think. Like, it is what it is, bro. I'm living my life for me. And eventually, it's not going to be overnight. You're going, it's going to take some time because it took some time. I trust me, I know, bro. It's going to take some time. You're going to end up being like, you know what? Life is good, and then you're going to start being, you're not, you're going to be the intoxication that you need. You're going to be high on life yourself, bro. You're going to be high off of you. And that's a beautiful thing when you get to that level. Right now, bro, you are at the bottom of the bottom, and you start thinking of, like, self-deleting, bro. And so, like, the good news is that you can only go up from here. So, I hope you see, I'm going to add your name in here, too, so I hope you see this. So, maybe it could give you some more, some a different perspective to look at your 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 life from. I don't know. It's tough. I just I just constantly tell myself the best thing that I could do is just keep holding on and just keep pushing. I just gotta take it one day at a time. See the day. Focus on one step at a time. And I just gotta keep going. I, yep. I, I just gotta be myself, not just that. I gotta be my best self and keep pushing. Mm -hmm. I think we all have them days where we feel like we want to give up. I think the most scariest thing, if you really think about it, is not everybody wins. In life, you'll have winners and you'll have losers. Not everybody makes it, and that's just, it's just biology. It's natural selection. I hope we all make it. But the only thing we can do is just try our best and, and keep pushing forward. That's all we can offer. That's all we can do. And at the end of the day, life sucks. It's constant, constant battles and struggles. And I'm tired. I really feel like I'm tired. I'm tired of this world. Nah, I'm not gonna say you tired. I don't, even, I don't even know you, bro. But I'm gonna just say this. I don't think you. T I'm not gonna say that you tired of the world. I don't, I, Cause you not. I don't think you fully experienced it, bro. There's so much left to experience. I ain't fully experienced. I probably experienced like not even ten percent of the, bro, what life has to offer, bro. Like life is full of so much shit that you could learn from and you could grow from. So, bro, you gonna be good, my guy. You just gotta get through it. And what they say, they say what the toughest. I wrote this in my newsletter. The toughest battles is given to the, the uh, toughest soldiers. It's a reason why that's, that saying is so true. I have to keep going. We all have to keep going. Facts. And we all have to try our best and, and try to make it. And try not to let... And try not to let the pressure get to us. Step into Wix Studio. The web platform for agencies and enterprises. Where creative freedom meets absolute efficiency. Element yeah, it was. But, uh, yeah, that was the end of the video. But anyway, bro, like, just, like, you're gonna be good, my guy. You're gonna be good, bro. Like, take one step at a time, like you said. 
That's pretty much it, though. Yeah, I'm not just talking to him. I'm talking to any of y'all. If y'all feel the same way he felt, then, like, just know, bro, y'all gonna be good, bro. Like, life gets, life gets better.